Oh, hey, man. You ready for another adventure? I am. I don't know what we're doing, but I'm ready for it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So as you know, our most recent series of videos, we bought a lot of stuff, right? It's the, I bought 49 truckloads of stuff um, and I really did and we're still working on that stuff. However, I got a phone call, actually an email the other day from uh, a place here locally at a local ski resort that said that they had a possible deal for me and they sent me a picture of a really cool snowblower and they're like, hey, do you want this? And I was like, yes, I do. So we're taking a quick break from hauling all of the stuff back from the other job that we bought. This is one that kind of became super urgent. We jumped on it as quick as we could because uh, there could be an opportunity here to be able to buy some awesome stuff for a really good deal that uh, I'm really excited about. With that said, buckle up because you're about to see some amazing scenery. You're about to see some wild equipment, wild machines that even I've never seen before. And uh, once we're done here, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming of updating you on the big purchase of all the other stuff. Right, Hans? Oh yeah. This snowblower is called a Vol, and it is awesome. I believe it's made up in like Quebec, Canada, so French Canadian, um, based off of, I believe, like an old Ford or New Holland tractor. And then they just Frankensteined it and put this awesome snowblower on it. And from what I've seen, these things have like a serious cult following because they're so rare and there's so few of them, but they're so cool. And uh, I think I'm gonna be taking it home. Supposedly it works, but it hasn't ran in a couple years. So it's not gonna start right now. We're actually like on a tight schedule right now. So we just weren't even gonna come up here today, but I didn't wanna miss out on this opportunity. So we ran up here with the semi uh, because there's a couple of other machines up here they're gonna get rid of as well. So basically what you're gonna see us do right now is drool over this machine and then make a plan on how to come back and get it running, get it out of here. They don't turn very well. So it's gonna be a little tricky getting it in and out of this place. Um, and then the other machines are a couple of like New Holland uh, farm tractors, which should be fairly easily loaded, but uh, still have to work a deal with this guy. Um, he mentioned that he would give me some great pricing, like way better than they're, what they're worth. So I don't know what that means yet, but I'm really hoping to just get these things for a steal and uh, have some awesome equipment and show you guys a will it start video. And then since there's no snow, we're gonna have to like grind up some styrofoam or go find some corn or something. I think you have to have cold weather. Otherwise, just that's, it takes all blocks of ice. <laughs> we could do that, I guess. But look at this thing, it's freaking, so it's got obviously massive uh, twin feed augers right here and then the high speed um, auger there that runs it out the chute. Uh, I would say this is probably close to the same size as the Kodiak one that we used out in California, maybe even a little bit bigger because it's got two screws. The other one just had one big one. What a cool looking machine. Like it, it's like got that vintage tractor look and it's clean. Super it clean. Like an old farm tractor, man. Yeah, they that's what they said. They said they, they used to build like these that. things out of like old uh, New Holland or Ford farm tractors, and then this bowl guy right. just Frankenstein them. <laughs> Did you ever run it? Uh, no, I've tried to fire it up, and that's about it. Yeah. Yep. So it's been a few seasons. Uh, yeah, at least. Yeah. I'd say it probably hasn't moved in three to five. Really? It hasn't even been tried to start it in three. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> that's my kind of machine, man. <laughs> All right. I love a good challenge. You're gonna be learning with me today, guys, as, as we go, because like I said, there's very little information available about these things. So I did as much research as I could, but I think it's gonna be a lot of trial and error, and it's gonna drive me crazy that we don't get to try to start this today because we don't have time, but that's okay. I wanna just lock it in, make sure it's ours, and then we'll take it back and show you guys what this bad boy's capable of, and then hopefully we get another crazy winter and we can use it. So it's twin engine, right? Got the... Some of them had Cummins and some of them had Detroits, from what I read. This kind of looks like a Cummins. Yep, Cummins. I like that. So it has a Cummins 5.9. Uh, wow. It's got a 5.9, basically 12 valve Cummins right here. Yeah, 5.9 Cummins. In the back, that runs the tractor part. And then I believe. They've got engines in the front that run the plow or the blower, which we're gonna check on right now. How's she looking? It's pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, it's a pretty cool machine. It's just like a it's vintage. It's got like that old that old style tractor feel, old airplane yep. almost. I'm glad it's got the Cummins in it. <laughs> 
Yep, and then it's got, I believe, a Ford four-cylinder diesel for the blower motor. You know it's serious when it's got two engines. One in the front, one in the back. This thing definitely likes to party. It's got a wild drive system. It's got drive lines that come from the rear axle up each side and feed into like a oh, yeah. portal axle for the front because the front axle had to sit low to be able to fit this other engine up here. So basically it's got independent diffs up front with two separate drive lines. That's freaking nuts. It's got a full blown closet door to get in. Dang. Look at this thing. Ha! That's awesome. Oh, weird, it didn't start. <laughs> For sure, it would fire right up. I'm really excited about this, but I have to like downplay it a little bit because I want to get a good deal, which I think they're already going to give me a good deal, but if I get too excited, I'll show my cars too quick. What do you think, Eric? Me? You want me to have a press yeah, on this? I, no, I want your opinion. Dude. Can you see yourself running think... on this thing? You can fit a family of four in this cab. You know I'm the last person to know <laughs> the value the throw a number out the, there. Well my guess would he's gonna sell it for five thousand dollars. That's where I would like to be. I'd like to be five or less. Which I think is doable. I think this is probably worth fifty grand. Especially since three thousand, eight thousand. I mean, it's got some time on it, but man, it's clean. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, I love this bad boy. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to step away from this for a minute. Literally, we have like an hour before we have to, it's actually Whistling Diesel's birthday today, and so we're going to have a birthday dinner for him, and uh, we don't wanna miss that, because he's here in town as our special guest. So even though I wanna sit and tinker with this, I'm not going to. The steering is really weird. Um, from what I understand, these things don't steer very well, and there's a reason why it doesn't articulate like a loader so it doesn't like pivot in the middle those front axles steer but they can only steer so far before they crash into the body huh yeah um the videos i've seen of these things working takes like a football field to turn them around i like it all right we're gonna go see the other ones the other ones are are more standard uh new holland farm tractors i believe my negotiation skills have gotten a lot better. He said I could just take it out of here. Just take it out of here? <laughs> Dang, that's great negotiating. Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll come back for this, yep. obviously. Yeah, definitely. Really, really clean for the hours on it. Well, that's the thing is yeah. like, and we have a diesel mechanic that comes and works in our trucks and yeah. he went and looked at it and was like, man, it's crazy how like, the rust is mm -hmm. not just caked on yeah. there. It's been up here for years. So yeah, like, I think what do you think, Ryan? It. I think we tarped it maybe 2019 yeah. and then by the spring it was all shredded yeah, and then we decided to just like leave it. It's 19? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow. The snow almost kind of preserves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. And it stays we... away from our salt yeah. and all that other stuff so. We don't get the humidity. We probably don't even need a trailer that one. We can just fire that up. I'll drive that all the way back. <laughs> yeah. Where do you think they need to be on selling it price wise? So I was kind of looking like three to five grand. Why would you come in and destroy all my negotiating? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go look at the New Hollands and yeah, then we'll just so, make a package um, deal. So I'll hop in, uh, I'll hop in a truck okay. and then you can follow me up there. So everything on this lot's for sale. Night bomb. These are the track with snow bars we used to use until we got six new ones. We could have races to plow the lot every winter. Like, ready, set, go. We could plow the whole lot in like two seconds. Just imagine, you in one, Dave in one, me in one. We bring in a special guest for the last one, maybe hands. 
action. You got a whole handful of these things. And I think these two right here, they run. This guy runs. It's either this one or that one runs. The company rented two of them from us this winter. Yeah. And they ran fine. Okay. And then the other ones, you know, they're just kind of sitting here. Right. Any idea what they're selling for? It's just whatever, you know, vests offer. I just have to clean up these lots, so. Uh, I love it when deals turn into this. I came up here for one snowblower. That was what originally caught my attention. And then he sent me another follow-up email. He's like, hey, a couple more tractors might be available. Get here. This whole parking lot's available. You guys know me. I'm a, I am, I have zero discipline when it comes to buying everything in front of me, if it's a deal. I don't buy it just to buy it. I buy it because it's an investment, right, Eric? Right? I think so. Team? We've been spending a lot of money, Dave. Yeah, we've been spending a lot of money lately. <laughs> so the only thing I'm not selling are the blower attachments. Okay. Because I'm gonna hook those up to a front loader and um, try to use the blower attachments this winter. Yep. Those pop off relatively. See, that's another thing I've never popped them off. It should just be the things. These machines start, do we know? If they got batteries? So our diesel mechanic started them about eight months ago. Um, I talked to him about a week or so ago. Yeah. He says they might just need like a jump on the battery. Fired right up. <laughs> That's always nice. At one point, you couldn't even see this machine. Really? There's so much up here. You guys got hammered this winter, right? Close to a thousand inches. A thousand inches. And none of these machines were ran this winter because you bought all new stuff. Yeah, the past couple winters, we didn't need them. Yeah. And I like kicked myself in the <laughs> and I was like, we really need these now. Yeah, you could have used every machine you had this winter. Yeah. You have any sort of starting point on these ones? No. Yeah, I was, I was hoping to get around 10 for each, but like I said, we're very, you know, we're very flexible. And those ones, any idea? Kind of work. Yeah, no, that. In fact, I was gonna have someone just haul these out. So, is that battery switch? This one's a different model, a little bit older, I think. Is battery switch. Oh, right here, maybe. There we go. Try starting up. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, so close. Oh, she's thinking about it. Hell of a day to be in a hurry, huh? Yeah. She wouldn't need much. Nope. <laughs> These are awesome. Awesome, awesome. These old farm tractors are so popular too. Um, chains are going on them. The only thing not going is blower. Yep, everything, cool. everything is sold like that. Just, I need the blower attachments. How close do you think you could get to 20 grand for everything and we'd haul off the junk. 20 grand for everything? Yeah. Let me make a phone call. Yeah, see what you can do. <laughs> Double wing. Yeah. That would be an unbelievable deal. And it's close to actually kind of where his starting numbers were. If I gave him what he asked, would be 25. So literally only asking for a $5,000 discount, which may be greedy and I'll gladly pay whatever they need, but gotta try, right? We can do that. That would be perfect. If I can just load that one as is. Yeah, you can have that one, done. and then we can go and agree with that. And done deal. Sweet. Yeah, I love it. Uh, we are tight on time today, so I'm gonna load that machine and okay. then maybe try to pull one or two of these on. Yeah, and then like if you guys need to come back, you yeah, just we'll, give me a call. I'll let the gatehouse know. Okay. And this lot's open. I don't awesome. close the gates in the summer. Sweet. So yeah, um, it'll probably be next week if that works. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. But we'll get uh, at least some of this out of your hair today. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you need. Appreciate it, man. That's yeah. awesome. It's a yeah. good deal. Yeah. I'm really glad you guys came up. I'm glad you Cause... reached out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm actually glad I saw your email because I don't see many emails because right. we get so many. But uh, caught my attention. What'd you say? Something about a snowblower? In the title? Yeah. Caught my attention. Yeah. Smart man. Let's get this one rolled out and then we'll use it to tug one or two of these on if possible. He took my offer and he actually sweetened it. He's like, well, we got to negotiate a little bit. I was like, okay, let's see what he's got. He's like, we take one of the attachments for a total of 22 grand. 
These are like $20,000 attachments. Two grand? Sign me up. I think it may have pissed out all of the hydraulic fluid. I can't tell what's good and what's not though. Paint. <laughs> that thing bled off all its uh, hydraulic oil though. Did you throw the green bucket over there yet? That one, yeah, I think so. Some of them say waste oil don't use. Sounds like diesel to me. See? It's, mm, it's not quite as pungent. Feel sap in there? Yeah. Oh, right here. Transmission oil. I feel so helpless without tools. Zero tools. <clears throat> but I had it on first and it just, that was what I was doing. The battery's got just a little bit. That's all it's got. Yeah, I think we'll probably just bring everything back up and get them all started. Okay. We'll just load this one for now. Okay. You go with that? We'll yeah, yeah you, take that. you take that attachment. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll take yep. that and then um, that way we can come back up and sort through everything and get it all loaded properly. Yeah, I'm always up here, so whenever you guys yeah. want to come back, then awesome. And then, um, make sure our ladies getting the titles, okay? So when you guys come back up for all the other stuff, I should have all the titles, okay, and everything. Perfect. The one title that's gonna be tough is the vol. Oh, yeah, that's... yeah, we have really no recollection of even having that, or I, no one does. I would be shocked if it even had one. I mean, we. Yeah, that, it's almost like that machine doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> his brakes we found out there wasn't any hey your uh, screws are gone um, your screws are gone what's that so when it loses hydraulic pressure it loses brakes and just about did a runaway train on me there uh, you don't need more hydraulic oil? I think that was the last two. Well, I could probably go try to find some more. I think it had that one line that was brittle and then the, it just went, which makes it not be able to steer or stop. started and then I realized you weren't here. I'm sorry. Sorry you guys weren't here to see it. Fired up, real easy. That's all we need to know. Just needed a little extra juice. It seems like it started. Yeah, it sounds like it started.
Well, it wasn't pretty, but we're loaded. And now it's raining and this road is gonna be real slick. Probably should have waited till we had all of our right tools and equipment, but you know that's not how we like to do things. We like to just go, go, go. Make a mess, break. <laughs>